And welcome back everyone, this is the VG Pierce, I'll be coming at you with a Let's Play of Endless Legend, and it's going to be part 4 of it, and we are going to be playing the Draken race, and I am going to be playing it because I'm curious to see if what all I have read has been true. I did say in my review, hey, it's just a few more months and it should get polished enough to where it's going to be a really, really epic game, and is it to that point yet? And so far, eh... I'm kind of I'm kind of in between about it right now, but let's see about taking over the stupid city, but I can't. I don't know why I can't do it for some reason. Maybe it's because this enemy army, this roaming army is having under siege and because of that I can't take it out. I I, don't, I really don't know. I don't know what the big deal is. All right, well, the last bit here I've been pretty much hemorrhaging money and the roaming armies also took out my provinces that I had taken out from the roving clans right here and then the roving clans actually took this city back and I wanted to take it back but for some reason I can't and I have all these other cities to really worry about but seeing how at this point I don't know if I'll be able to play defense for very long with just one army and I lost my entire Wyvern army and the backfield. I don't think this would be a good idea to actually just hold on to these anymore. So I'm really thinking about getting rid of them. Yeah, I really am. But for now, let's see if ending the turn will help. And maybe I can take out this city and then do something with them. And it looks like he's going to have another spy, another settler running through. I don't know where he's going to go for the roving clans and you know I don't even know how how the AI is holding on to all this stuff but I guess it's just one of those things where the AI is just gonna have extra things that you don't have and is able to hold on to a lot more things now normally what happens in these types of 4x games is that one AI will be favored out of all the other AIs even though you might have six or seven or whatever actually I started out with five other AI, right? Five other AI. And so therefore, one of the AI will be favored and be the one that you actually have to really work out and fight against. And then if you actually do take them out, then what happens after that is that another AI controlled area is going to be the one that's going to be the big dog, as, the, as it were. So, I don't know. I really think I can't hold on to all these areas and so I'm really thinking about getting rid of these things here it's kinda of difficult though they're happy now actually these guys are unhappy I think I'm just gonna salt the earth with this one yes get rid of these guys here salting the earth and that'll get rid of this area these guys are happy Oost they're content so hmm. I just don't know I don't think I can hold on to this all this Yulin here they're unhappy look only two I'm gonna get rid of anything with low population I really can't hold on to all this stuff salt the earth on that but then if I salt the earth on these right these two then these will be kinda of sticking out like a sore thumb but there's no way I only have one army to hold on to all the stuff. There's no way. Just as you saw there, my army was just a little bit away and this guy comes and swoops in and takes that out. It's just like, what the heck? <sighs> so yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just start from scratch, yes. And just salt the earth on all the stuff here. I know it's a it's a bit of a difficult call. But I think this is the best way to go right here. Get rid of all these provinces right here. Anyways, I already lost these two. No point in holding on to those. Uh, all right. Okay, let's end the turn. Watch as the cities go up. Look at that! It's just like that. All my cities are gone. What? 
in the world. Oh, look, I got settlers now. Great. Cool. Why do I have settlers? All right. Well, I guess the good thing is that at least I'll have settlers for me, and then I'll be able to do well. Let's move these all all these guys back. Well, anyways, you know what? Those weren't really my promises anyways. They were the roving clans. Now they're at 755. I'm still at 423. They're in the lead at the moment, but I'm still in second place. And, oh, what? What the heck? Oh, that's what they were doing. They were salting the earth, too. <laughs> and so now they're gone. Uh, that's funny. All right, well. Ooh, should I take them out? I'll leave them alone. They're not in my provinces, so I'm just going to back off. All right, so now I'm back to my original two provinces. Actually, I had a third one. I used a settler on a towel or A2, but it was taken out by untimely, stupid, neutral crowds, which could be controlled by the roving clans if they purchased it. I believe it's 400 for them to purchase it. And now we're going to be making do. But here, 1,700. All right, so I actually should be able to get a good bit of stuff now because I gained so many influence points, and then I got rid of everything. <laughs> I'll be able to, I'll be able to get everything. Oh, look at this influence on everything. Look at that, plus 50. Oh, look at this. I can get everything. Uh, oh, well, I can't get everything. I get a lot of stuff here. Plus four movement on units. 50%. All right, plus two science on district. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Let's do a little bit more balanced. Uh, I don't need that one yet. 1500 for that. Get, oh, damn it. Skips too much. Alright, so might as well just get it. Plus 50% trade route bonus, even though I don't have a trade route. Yeah, let's do that. 50% life. Yeah, on units. That'll be good. Plus 2 right here. Uh, yeah, what the heck. Let's just do that. Let's just get my guys back. Do I have anything left? I don't even have my Drakenlings anymore. That sucks. I have no defense whatsoever. And this is the reason why I'm I'm moving back. And that just kind of displays right there. Just, just how out of control the AI was with their expansion. And then I can't even hold on to them. I'm like bleeding money. Talking about bleeding money, I'm bleeding money again. Let's see here. Go to the other province here. And move all the stuff over. What the heck? I got everything over here and I'm still losing money. What? Why am I losing so much money? Okay. That's good. Guess I'm losing money because I don't know. I have all these settlers. <laughs> I should go get them killed or something like that. No, nah, I'm not gonna do that though. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take this province over. It'll be easier for me to hold. Get my guys over here. These two cities are so close together. I'm actually gonna get. You know, I, I should use this settler and go over here and pick that up because I can hold on to stuff that's just north of me right that would be a lot easier and then I should actually make it to where the settler in a good spot so let's see if a good spot here for my settler uh, let me think about the back area here yeah this this place right here but then there's no food because this place is all kind of tundra. So this is not actually a good place. And I want to put it in a place where it has lots of good food because if winter comes, then they'll be a little bit more self-sustaining. Right here's not too bad, I think. We 
get three influence and then two food that's good enough and then I could burrow my way either left or right yeah right here's a good place let's go right there and they'll be kind of tucked away from the from the front lines I like that let's do that please rate market ban freaking bastard I don't need the market anyways. Sold all the emeralds I could. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Alchemy workshop. Plus 42 now. I don't know why my stuff is fluctuating so bad. Alright, let's go and put this here. So I'm going to build up my two provinces. And then get everything else up going. Can I settle yet? No. We'll settle in the next turn. I think get a wyvern here, so let's stop. Move them over. Sweet! And now I have six here. Good enough for defense. We're gonna leave them out. Can we boost anything? Nah. Alright, so now we're gonna settle right here, I believe. This was the chosen area. <coughs> Very nice indeed. Okay, let's grab this public granary. And right away, glory of the empire. Dust. Actually, I shouldn't do this one. Oh look, it's 20 right there. 50 palladium, let's get the emeralds going. Alright, I think that's good. This this actually costs me some precious resources, so I don't want to do that. Dust refinery, actually I should stop this. Resources will not be refunded, no. Alright, done, used it. Crap. Let's get rid of that and I can get the ooh logic going, I think. 20 of the resources here. Let's see here, how much do I have? Oh, 18. Crap. Oh, need that. Oh, I have 18. I wanted to make that ooh logic so I can finish off my stuff. Crap. That's okay. Uh, uh, did I do this one yet? Alchemical workshop? Yeah, that's just palladium. That's not, whatever. Damn it. Right away. These just cost production. Oh, I can get, I can get it. All right, now I have enough for U logic. Sweet. All right, let's do that. Yeah, U logic. Nursery. All right, let's do that. Like that. Is my other base making the wyverns? Yes, they are. Everything's making wyverns. It's all queued up, ladies and gentlemen. All of it. Good stuff. All right. Now we have some semblance of control here. Oops. Some semblance of control. All right. So we now we again have the northeast region. The dragon race has been taken out by the roving clans. I believe the mercenaries have been doing great work. And they are again becoming a bit of a bug, taking out everything that they seek. There's just nothing to stand in the way. Who's gonna stand in the way? This, these guys here, the orange people, the cultists. They aren't, they're just, they're just being in one province. Me, I'm just scrambling just to stay alive here. It's basically just a three-man game at this moment. That's it. And I, there's no way I could catch to, up to them in score. There's just no freaking way. So now it's 165. 
So the only real way now is if I, I can com somehow complete my my quest, my faction quest. And that's pretty much the only way I'll, I'll, I'll actually be able to win. Alright, so... Finish that off here. Let's throw some more in there. We'll just start gaining 20. And then I'll just start buying my way to the top. Alright. And I need to get the defense going again. So I need I can't move my troops out right now at all. If I move my troops out, they're all dead. Cause they could just come in, swoop in, take in my stuff, and kill me. And we don't want that to happen. I've seen that plenty of times before. That's why you cannot overstretch with your main troops. These guys are still standing there, come on. Let's go. Let's just put that one over here. Let's move those guys over here. Party over here, party over there. Market ban removal. Sure. Okay. He he can't make up his mind. He's like, yes, no, yes, no. All right. Obviously, he wants me to trade because don't forget the roving clans. One of their little perks is that they can they get a percentage of the cuts of whatever I sell. So it's actually worth it for them to let me sell if they're low on money. 3.3, that's BS. Look, this is 9.9. .9. What's up with that? These are 10. Uh, worth it wise. I need to sell it all at one time before something bad happens. Alright, so up to 300 dust. And now we're just p basically playing the waiting game. Oh, it needs to grow. Population needs to grow. Uh, we'll take we'll take a dust loss for now. These settlers also cost money to to keep up. All right, now we're gonna start making wyverns. Good. Borough the streets. Alright. So we're gonna go this way. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna try to get there so I can get in on the four. Next here. Alright. I guess I should use the marketplace to buy some some of these, the glass deal. Cause I freaking need them. And it looks like let's see here. It is forty two. So actually one of the cheaper things on here. Demand negative twenty three. Wow. Look how much it costs to buy one. 42! Oh my gosh. Screw that. I'm not buying that junk. I don't care how much I need it. Dust refinery. Alright. Good stuff. Now we're beginning to make the Ulogic. Nursery. Look, it only took me seven turns to do so. Awesome. Now I'm able to take the dust production off. Like this? Alright, I love it. Oh, market ban. Hey, oh, we give it. No, no. Psych! <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. I was giving you the market. Nah. Playing with you. 
All right, so now what are we gonna do? Hmm. National Museum. That actually might be a good idea. The only way now I can try to win is by maybe getting my faction quest going. Plus one trade routes, National Museum, Cargo Docks, Travel Council, plus one minor faction assimilation. Uh, plus 200% fortification, but I have no palladium. In fact, I need palladium. Let's see here. I got the extractor. Plus three food on. That's kind of what I need right there. And look at that. Okay. Looking good. Let's get out of this. Winter time's coming. Oh, look. They got a big army right here. They got a big army. Eight people in one clan. Minotaurs. I don't know if I can attack them. I don't even think I should attack them. Negative 34 now. What the freaking hell. Oh look, I'm already sieged. That's why I'm losing so much money. Well... Let's take him out, I think. Wow, six? I think I should have support, though. I should. I don't get why I can't attack him. There we go. There, yes. Look. Alright, so we should play offensive, auto, ready to fight. I'm going to lose a couple of Verns, maybe three. Yes, I lost my settler. <laughs> what the hell? And yeah, so three of our burns went down to the Minotaur Madness. But we are creating more army as we speak. Level 9 Wyvern. Level 8, level 9, level 6, and then I'll have a couple that'll pop up that's really not going to be that high of a level. Okay. Oh man, I'm losing money again. Dude, how, didn't winter time pass not too freaking long ago? What the hell? I'm so tired of freaking winter. This is not helping much. All right. 27. Look at that BS. I need to get my wyverns out as soon as possible. So we're going to just slow down the U-Logic for, for the time being. Oh yeah, anyways, I can't build it because I need the food production and it's minus food production because of winter. <laughs> I swear the AI is, is like cheating. It's like, oh, you're making the U-Logic nursery? Well, I will stop you. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked this. So 15% attack on units. That's what I want. Nice. And then next, what we're going to get is the initiative bonus. And then we get extra life. And then we get an extra accessory. Nice. Awesome. For right now, we need to rebuild the army. Get with the archivist. We're bleeding money again. Because it loves to be winter. Oh, what the hell is this crap? Ok, 
Okay, look, even in winter, we're all right. We got roads connecting our cities now, and so we're able to move back and forth, no problem. But what the hell? Onslaught after onslaught. AI is way far ahead right now. I need to go kill him. What the hell? Why does he keep moving? Stop moving, asshole. Well, before I do that, what's in there? Oh, it's level 3. They cannot withstand my level 9, 8, <laughs> 9, 8, and 6. Nice. Take those fools out. Alright, let's move back. Pretty much the center for my guys. Get yourself in there, fool. I lost a settler. That's so funny. That'll actually help. Less uh less less taxing on my dust supply. Crap, alright, I can't I can't hang with this loss of dust. All right, 876. Okay, so what we need, we still need that. Let's just get two of everything. Okay, oh, and that's all I can do. Alright. Well, what you gonna do when the freaking winter lasts forever and then it comes back? Uh, I feel like the winter's... Actually, I don't think the w there was a winter until now, right? <laughs> so we'll just, just leave it alone. Ending turn. Let's see here. What's the next plan? We gotta have a plan. We just can't just keep going like this. Alright, yeah, let's take out Jewel. They have a glass steel deposit. And we could put the town right here. Yeah, that would be a really good idea. We could settle like right here and then it won't be too far away from my other towns. Yeah, that would be awesome. But we're gonna wait for winter to blow over first. Turn 183 and Roving Clans is kicking our butts. Heck, the orange is kicking my butt at the moment. Just by a little bit, just enough to just piss me off. Okay, we want to join the Wyvern to my team because I get, I give, I have an inherent with my, with my hero to give a plus experience if they're in the party. Alright, so I still got a bunch of wavers on cue. Blood crystals. Negative 24? What? Oh my gosh. What the hell? Oh man. <sighs> wow. I don't even know what to do myself here. Alright. Freaking winter's coming. It's like, oh my god! Okay, let's grow the population back here. Alright, that's fine. Let's move this one here to build the Ulogic Lickety Split. Let's do that. Let's build the logic. And we're going to get this one on dust. Uh, that's not enough. Alright. There we go. Good. I actually want to gain some more. Let's gain money. Alright, four turns. I can live four turns. Do that.
good. Basically waiting for the logic. Market ban removal, thanks. But, but much. We gotta fix our cities here. It's kinda why I'm a little bit behind at the moment. Alright, let's get the logic going. Alright, done. Yes. 24, 25 titanium, nice. Alright, assimilate two minor factions and make sure you have at least six villages pacified within your empire. What? Oh man, so that means I need to assimilate two. So the only way I can assimilate two is to open it up with this here. With this tribal council. Plow factory is almost done, so we'll just, we'll just queue that up. All right, now that we've done that, yeah, let's keep this right here. Let's see here, dust production. We need this right here, like that. Like that. Let's do it. Okay. And then dust production, let's go put in engineering. And let's do it like that. Uh get you here. He'll still be growing. Oh man, eight turns. Nine turns. Okay, that's good. And okay. Alright, I want to be making near 20 now. So, you know, winters won't kill me. I need to be making some real money. Plow factory, yes, right away, sweet, okay. That helps with the money. Situation. Wyvern, alright. So now, I got six Wyverns here, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, new army. Get yourself in there, alright, now we're ready to fly, buddy. Alright, so we got three Wyverns queued up. One, two, three. So I got six now in that one. And let's see here. I don't know, maybe make some ancients. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's support though, so I can't make all six like that. Uh Screw it. Let's just make Wyverns like a madman. Four, five, six. Alright. Let's assimilate a culture. Plus 5% dust. Yes, let's do that. Let's grab the Delvers. I love them. 5% more dust. Sweet. Alright. Plus 45. I love it. Yeah, let's move these over here. All right, perfect. Empire Mint plus thirty-one. Let's get that right there. Uh, we're not going to spend any money because spending money and then winter comes. That's hell to pay. Oh, market ban. <laughs> we're not going to be a dick. Yeah, we're going to be a dick. No. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, that's the one that at winter wants something. Let's go this way. We're not gonna travel too far. Look at that. They are already taking over the provinces.
I'm basically building back up here without trying not to die and they're just like la la we're gonna just take over the whole continent now <sighs> Alright, so the only way now to win is to do the faction quest. Alright, so assimilate two minor factions and make sure you have at least six villages pacified within your empire. And so I believe we have two, four, five, so we actually have to have one more. So let's take Jewel, like I said I was. And then. We're just going to pick a spot where it's easily defensible. Like that. At least I got a bunch of settlers from assaulting the, the earth like that. And uh, we're going to use my units to make sure it's clear. Okay. We are still growing. Let's see here. 21 turns. Or oh, this. Yes. More wyverns, please. Because I cannot move my army out too far without having the proper defense. Okay, let's settle right here. And then we'll fix the bars. Get this. Empire right away. Glory. Okay, that's good stuff right here. See a glass deal. Can I make glass deal? No. I have no mining productions at all. And look, there they go. There they go. Right there. Again, messing with me. What are these guys going to learn? You know what I mean? Get my guys over there and kick their butts. I got a level 9 wyvern here. Level 8. Trailing behind. Level 6. These guys need a little work. But they'll get there. Market ban. Oh, I'm not a dick. <laughs> I'm a dick. No, I'm not a dick. Really? No. Yes, I am. And they're sieging up again. Okay, I don't know why I can't move my guys, but there we go. Move it in there. Look at this, level 5. Alright, we're going to go manual. Hold positions. What are these guys? Cavalry? Look at their attacks! 137! You kidding me? Holy crap. Fine. Now, do I get to attack first? Because if I get to attack first. I think I get to attack first because I, I moved on him to attack. But if I don't get to attack first, then having this formation kind of sucks. Alright. We're just 
gonna surround these guys. Just in case I don't go first, I'm gonna do this. And then just in case I do go first, we're gonna attack the right wing. Okay, looks like I do not go first. That sucks because I'm guaranteed to lose one wyvern. And that and that really comes from not playing turn based. <laughs> Not playing this on the map very often. I can't believe how powerful they are. 94! Damn it. Because they get to go first, they get a huge advantage on me because my Wyverns suck on defense. If I got to go first, look how hard I'm hitting him. 178 on that one. Uh. Uh, man. I would, is there a way I could just do... Uh, let it just do it by itself now because obviously I am not <laughs> doing very well oh my gosh I, and it's hard to see alright step back I don't know crap Lost another Wyvern. I should have just auto resolved it. I think I would have done better. It's pretty much GG at this point. The roving clans will win. Uh, GG. That's what I get. The other AI opponents folded to the might of the roving clans, which left them so powerful that I can't stop them. And that's another danger. But what you gonna do? But I am happy to report that the game has a lot more variety. As I said, look at that. But basically, like you see here, you ba you basically make one unit like crazy, your best unit, and then that's it. So even though they have support and infantry and cavalry, you still end up making one unit of a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see here, they got a whole bunch of cavalry, which is kicking butt. I mean, how's cavalry just, uh And I guess cavalry counters all my flying, but still, you know. I guess if, uh, if I'm making a bunch of flying units, then I need to, then I guess 
get the cavalry units, but uh, nowhere does it say, hey, cavalry trumps flying units and flying units trumps support. So, bit of a lesson, I guess. One of those things that you kind of have to learn about the game just by playing it and losing. But now it's something that I understand that, hey, you know, maybe I should diversify my units and get infantry units. I don't know, maybe that counters cavalry. Because like I said, before, all you needed was flying, and that trumped everything. Uh, wyverns are dying left and right. I wish I wish I could just... I could just end this, because I lost. Oh! He still got somebody who shoots arrows, that's funny. Look how poorly I'm controlling the battlefield. <laughs> this is how poorly I'm doing. Uh, that's not fair that they got to attack first. What's up with that? I'm offense, right? Maybe I should have just garrisoned. No, then they'll just keep a siege up. 94. Screw you, Wyvern. Look at these Minotaurs. Winter immunity, even. Immune to movement penalty during winter. Ah, no wonder they kick ass during the winter. Plus 50 damage dealt to cavalry units. Cavalry slayers. Look there, and my wyverns aren't even cavalry. That's the funny thing. Uh, GG. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, there goes the infantry units. They can't even withstand it. And they are cavalry slayers. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Now they're just going to surround my guys. And kill me. One guy left. Before I was just going around trouncing on all their cities like pa -ka -pow, ka pow And then they were like, oh, we'll show you. Oh, you're having fun now. Oh, yeah, yeah, now who's talking smack? <laughs> VG. Uh, I wasn't talking smack, man. That was just, that was just pillow talk, man. It's pillow talk. Uh, where's this low health unit? I'm going to go attack him. Uh Oh 141 And that's GG. I have nothing left to stop the roving clans. That's it. At this point it's all just uh, It's all just a dream. A bit of a formality. They're just gonna take out my guys. Ready to fight. Go defense. Auto. Ready. And they're gonna take me out. I have nothing left to give. Nothing left. Well. <sighs> just end turn. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this let's play where the VG Pierce gets crushed by the roving clans. They just snowballed out of control. Nobody to stand in the way. Look, nothing but open land even. They just like grow, 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 stomp on my face. Put 
the boot on my face and just grinded my nose in. Oh, what are you doing, guy? What are you doing? Oh, you gonna attack me too? Oh, you gonna attack me too? Might as well. I got no army. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder what the game over screen looks like. I've actually never seen it because, like I said, when this game first came out, this game was a joke. I was just was ro rolling over on like no nothing. Oh, let me just help him out. Shoot. Salt the earth. Oh, no. You'll never take my cities. Burn it down. Burn down the cities. You'll never take us alive! Never! Candy has one capital out of two required to achieve victory by supremacy. Has to conquer one capital to achieve victory by supremacy. Possesses all colonized regions except one. Has one capital out of two. Is very close to winning it ready to fight oh settlers dead band together fight them fight to the last man or oh, whatever the heck you are dragon species thing your empire is about to go bankrupt yep I know Oh, sold archivist and the compasser. That's okay. I guess because I still have settlers, then I'm, then the game still keeps going. Where's the AI? Where you gotta go to get killed around here? It's winter right now, so. Yep. So really, even though the game's really beautiful, you kind of end up playing in this mode right here because it's easier to see everything on the map. <laughs> you barely play it like this. I mean, can you differentiate everything? It's just it's, it's almost impossible. I guess you know maybe when I play it a lot longer or something like that, that then I could be able to see everything easier. But for right now, very difficult. Empire's about to go bankrupt. Well, you know, if they killed my settlers, that then then that will work out. Okay, good. Offensive. We are going to charge the battlefield. Uh, and there we go. That's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this cast of endless legend. And it appears my legend ends here. Join me on YouTube on the VG Pierce as well. Subscribe, like my videos, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.